I'm going to show you how to make a rigged sluggo. These have excellent action. You're going to catch all your fish because the ones that bite the tail hook, you got them. All right, so let's let me show you how that's done. So here's a sluggo. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take some Daycron line. Here's some 50 pound Daycron. Some people use Power Pro. 80 pound Power Pro would work fine. So I'm going to take about two feet of this. Double it up. So I've just doubled up the line. I'm going to take the the line, the part with the two ends, and just do a straight overhand knot and cinch it. Okay. Now I have two hooks. I think one of them is an eight odd, and one's a seven odd or a six odd. These are octopus hooks. I'm going to go ahead and tie the smaller hook on with a regular improved clinch knot. So let's tie that on. So let's go ahead and take our bait needle hook. This is a, a needle you can buy at any bait shop. You can use a coat hanger, whatever. I've done many with a coat hanger. I happen to find this on the ground at, a, at, the, at the boat ramp, so I grabbed it about a one inch below the middle. I'm going to put, put this in there. I'm going to make sure that the, the needle stays towards the center of the worm all the way up to the top. Okay, now it's getting close to the top. When it comes out the top, I want to make sure that it shoots out to one side. Okay, that's good. Okay, so it's to one side. <clears throat> so let's work this worm down. Okay. Okay, so now we can take our hook, hook it on, and we'll pull. Okay. Slowly we'll work that line through the bait. Okay, here it comes. Let's work it all the way through. Okay. Now, you want to straighten it out as much as possible. I don't like to have the bait look. Some people like their baits kind of S-shaped. I like mine as straight as possible. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut this temporary knot off. Leave that there for a minute. Now we'll take our larger hook and put it right in the nose of the bait, right in the center. Figure out how far down it should come out. So I want to, I want to have the top of the hook stick out about like that. So I know I want to bring it out down to around right here. So I'll put a little hole. Okay, starting from here, being careful not to grab your Daycron. You don't want to put any not any kinks or any slices in that line because that's that's your main line. Push all the way through until you come out to about right where we put the hole. Okay, so we'll pull that out. I think that's going to be perfect. Looks it. Let's pull that out, and now we're going to do a series of half hitches on this hook. So to do a half hitch, take the line and make a loop, and then twist it, put it over the top of the hook, and pull. Don't do the first knot too tight. The next set of knots can be tighter. Okay, so you want to work all the way to the top of the hook. 
That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one more, if I can. Okay. Now what you want to do is take the two ends and then just do a straight overhand knot, like you tie your shoes with. Pull tight. Do it again. Okay, tight as you can. Let's cut that tag end. Okay, perfect. So now we have some Gorilla Glue, super glue. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the line nice and wet. Okay. Grab your pliers, grab the front of the hook, push it down. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So the next step, what you want to do is put a little bit of glue in the hook hole from behind, and again here. That'll go ahead and make sure that the hook stays straight, and there you go.